When he discovered her, my father gave my mother some of that Christopher Columbus type love. You know, conquered her because she was beautiful. Stripped her of everything and left her bare. But even after all this, she still longed for his kiss. Dug her fingers into his flesh like he was the shore after a long journey at sea. This is where I come from. This is me. I am a child of conquest. Born to a man and woman practiced in the art of wanting things they shouldn't have. And when push would come to shove, he was not above letting her know that her lips taste like unrequited love. But I will not begrudge my mother and father for giving me the blood that flows through these veins, for planting the seed that would grow from these pains. But I've grown weary of carrying their hate. Let the seance begin. Let the spirits depart. Tear down the wall they erected that bisects my heart. My mother told me once, you were born with a tongue as sharp as a sword. When your words play a warrior, they can slip my wrist. You have your father to thank for this, and believe me, I'm no better than my father. I just know better than my father. I was never blind enough to mistake love for slaughter. So if you have the courage to place your hand in mine, I will take the opportunity to kiss your both. Bar the feel of your skin against my lips for every twisted impulse that he instilled in me, but I... I look too much like my father for my mother to believe. And I look too much like my mother for my father to grieve about what he did to her, or what he did to me. So they both had no qualms about leaving me, they just boarded new relationships and sailed off in exact opposite directions to far off foreign suburbs. They each took half of my heart and left me the wall, with no way to get to the other side. But they forgot to cut off my hands, and they failed to cut out my tongue. So I used them to write a poem as sharp as a knife, and I fill it with similes as hard as this life, and with it I scrape through the mortar bit by bit, dismantle the wall brick by brick, and step over the last remnants of what they did to me, and I walk away all the way to the sea. Raise the white flag of the shipwrecked mast to let them both know I've made peace with my past. I drop to my knees and I kiss the shifting shore and the fleeing sea for all that they've given and taken from me. I just kneel there, not knowing whether to cry or smile. See, it's been a while since I felt I had nothing to hide. So I use my hands to mock the tide. And I carved you both one last poem in the sand that simply reads, I've been baptized by your pain, made filthy by your worst, cleansed by your best. And I signed it, your loving son, a child of conquest. Merci.